Hello, people, it's Poten. We are back in Jurassic World. Now, since we've left off, we've done another ton of work. And, I mean, it's just, it's a crazy amount. So we've got this all now built to the Dino Discovery area. Um, we've got all these buildings in here. I don't know if any of those have really changed since our last one. But we have been working to evolve things like crazy just like crazy um let's go and just cue that up for a while um but let's see we've got the majungasaurus now at level 40 max max level majungasaur three star dinosaur there it is in all of its glory you can see now that we have the option to fuse it. Now, I do know from looking at the market that the fusion option for that one would be with the Alangasaur. Or the Alanga, I mean. Uh, because it's in the name. So, what I went and did with our Alanga, we went ahead and made it a level 40 as well. So it's level 40 and it can be fused also. So we're let's let, well let's try it. Okay? Let's just fuse it. And it takes four hours an attempt to start that one. I can tell you right away that it's not gonna work, but let's speed it up. See the result. Yeah, look at that. Sure, exactly. It's not gonna work. Let's do it again, speed it up. Oh, there it goes. Boom. We've got our first hybrid. Alangosaurus. Combining the Majungasaurus and the Alanka. And yeah. Looks kind of weird. I don't know. I don't know what it'll be like. Let's put the hybrid. Uh, gee, where do we put the hybrid? Let's put it right down at the end here maybe. For now. It is now available to purchase inside the dino market also so if i look in the market yeah we can buy one for more dna points than i have uh which is wonderful but there we go a level one alangasaur what is this what what news do we have anything good that i can buy no um let's collect our pack our free pack got some food precious food Hetzacopteryx we got again um, Which we've leveled up to level six not not really focusing on that one uh, Trophy Ignathus we got up to 21 again not really focusing on that one combined to level 11s or level 20s I should say to get to 21 Tapijara is at 10 Have We really worked on much else not really the Twojangasaurs are I have so many of them, I really could level them up to, this would be 20, this would be 20, that's 30. I could get them up to level 30 and then these up to uh, level 20 total. So a level 30 and a level 20, if I were to put all my food into these guys. Um, which I may do. Let's see, these guys I've maxed uh, up to 10, I mean, not max. It's not the right way to say it. My Guanlong, I've actually leveled up to 10. And here's the other one that we've been working on, the Limnoskelis. Uh, it could go up to level 30 if I wanted to. Um, and there's really no reason why I don't. So that's probably going to be the next one that we level up. But I'm just so tempted. I'm just too tempted with this Alangasaurus. Let's look at it a little bit closer, and let's see if we can feed it a few times here. Let's just feed it. So there we go. We fed it up to level 8. And it does pretty good damage. It has pretty good health. It's not a bad hybrid. In a nutshell. Um, so that's where we're at. We finally got ourselves a hybrid. 
But the problem is, with getting that hybrid, when we fused those two dinosaurs, those two level 40s, um, it essentially got rid of my Alanka completely out of the park. And my Majungasaur is now these two uh, level 11s, which could be another level 30 if I really wanted to. Which I will want. Uh, my strong carnivore is just gone. Just like that. In place, this guy. Maybe a good decision, maybe not. I don't know yet. We've got some battles going on right now. We've got a three-stage battle right here. Common level 7 plus is needed. And then we've got the T-Rex Tyrants 8-day battle. Um... Which is kind of like that boss battle that we had before, so we might look at that. And I can also now do the battle stage 14. So there's a lot that we can do as far as battles go. Let's see what the quest is. A new Velociraptor pack will hatch any day now. I came up with a custom made habitat for these girls, but I'll need your help to build it. Move three carnivores. Okay, I wonder if we can still do the same thing. That we used to do before, just place it, move it, place it, move it, place it. Is that, did that do it? Did that do it? No. So again, they fixed the same thing that happened in Jurassic Park Builder. Where it would not let us, can I just place it right back where it was though? Let's see. Yes. Okay, so. In Jurassic Park Builder, we could just move these guys one per, one dinosaur and then place it back down where it was before. Now we can't do that. Got to actually move three different ones. Oh, and you're just in time. There's someone here waiting to meet, to meet you. I'll have ACU bring her in. Meet Blue, the newest member of the Raptor Response Team. Hiss. All right. <laughs> Claire, we keep crossing paths like this, and the whole village will start gossiping. This visit is strictly off the record, I can assure you, Mr. Grady. There is nothing going on between us. You're wearing perfume. I beg your pardon? Perfume! Come on, you ain't the first woman who ever tried to get my attention. It's why you're here, isn't it? Mr. Grady, I'm here to track your movements in the last 24 hours. Every facility, every building, you can either tell me or security your choice. What did I do this time? So, have two dinosaurs at level 25 or higher. I did, but I just fused them. Oops. So that's going to be a while before I can finish that mission, unfortunately. But now, let's see. Two dinosaurs. Complete. Ooh, what is this? Collect. I didn't. What? What about this one? Collect. I got like a hundred bucks out of that. That was pretty good. Not bad. So now this challenge is going on. Might as well try it, right? Right? We're not going to win it. I can tell you right now. Times 99 opponents. Well... Let's just go in and see what what could possibly what could possibly go wrong. Let's uh, put in this guy and this guy times ninety nine opponents. Are you kidding me? <clears throat> so the way these work is that you just basically have to keep defeating them and defeating them and defeating them. They'll start at a lower level and then go up from there. the basic level one t-rex and he takes me down in one hit are you kidding me that's not good i'm just gonna lose this battle here because even my my strongest attack there basically only goes halfway i should have just banked all the way for this guy maybe fill it up with nothing but the aquatics. There we go. We did one. 
Only 98 left to go. What do you know? Goodbye. I mean, people with the strongest hybrids wouldn't be able to beat that one. But I definitely didn't know what I was going to be up against. <laughs> more knockouts give more DNA. Thanks. Really? You figure that? So, if you were to do this challenge and then use something like a high-level Limnoskelis, you know, stuff like that, the Labyrinth of Dantia, then you'd be all right. But even at that, what's the point? What is the point? Whether I do anything or not, uh, we'll be winning some prizes based on how the world does. That's how those world events go. So let's go ahead and see what this level 14 stage battle is. Um, so it's a carnivore, a, tyrano, a pterosaur, and a herbivore. So kind of a very balanced arena here. I'd put this guy in, but then you'd have to pull him out for the Hetzogopteryx. In that case, a better or a herbivore is better, but then that guy's going to really not be good against the Guanlong. Um, let's do like this. Let's do like this. Let's see how we do with this. I don't know, but let's just see. Okay, so I've got a bonus on him. I'm still going to bank a point. Oh, he switched out right away. He switched out, and now I'm the weaker. Um, I'm actually going to switch out as well. I've only got one bank point, but I can use that to switch out. Okay. I'm going to bank both. He defended with one. He can hit me with two. Dino swap. He swapped again. Um, and I'm also going to swap yet again. Playing the safe. And now let's attack him with... He's got a lot of health. Let's do that and then bank another. Ooh, he blocked one. So we won't kill him. But we managed to block a point. And he swapped again. Now he's attacking. And he took me down. So we can't always win on the dino swap. But look at this. Up comes our heavy hitter. And he can go a one, two. Should beat him at that point. And then bank the three. Farewell, goodbye. Lights out. Now here's the problem. Right here. I'm dead. This guy's dead. Yep. <laughs> Gone. But I've banked three points, remember. I banked three points. So now I've got a total of seven. It's going all right. Uh, I only need to do two hitter in order to beat him. What did he hit me for? Did he hit me for four? I think he did, so he's out of points. Let's go like that. I should have actually used a shield point, because if this guy comes in, he might do a little bit of damage. He might do a little bit of damage here. A lot of damage, he killed me. What? I did not expect that. I did not expect that the Stegosaur would be able to kill me with a three-hitter. I actually didn't expect that. That sucked. It was just an... Ah! I underestimated the power of the Stegosaur. That really stinks. That really sucks. And now, of course, it's going to cost me a bunch of bucks to get back into the battle here. That really... Ah! That grinds my gears a little bit. What's our alternative here? We don't really have one. This guy's got so much health that we really can't put anything else against him except for this leveled up Limnoskelis. 
the Hexacopteryx, we could maybe fight him with the Triceratops. But the Stegosaur was obviously way better. Tough one. That one I just... Just lost by the skin of my teeth. Unfortunately. I think it all came down to the fact that we were using the Giganotosaur with 129 health. Oh, man. That's tough. So here's what I'm going to do. We're going to spend all our bucks. Stegosaur, Limnoskellies. So go like this, go like this, go like this. Okay. Buy in. They're going to do a Dino Swap right away. That's what they did before, so they'll probably do it again. They don't change their strategy very much. So let's bank a point. See if he swaps it. Yes, he did. Oh, and they chose to attack right away. That's a surprise. That's different. That's not very good. Um, let's just keep banking, I think. Try that this time. What are you going to do? Okay, one to attack and probably one to bank is what they did, I would assume. So I've got six points now. It means I can do a two hitter and still bank full points. Oh, but they blocked it. Let's see. No, it's not enough to kill it. All right, next. They're swapping out. This might kill me. Oh, five hit points. Five hit points. I've got max banking right now. Ha, oh, what to do, what to do, what to do. I could bank max again, hit him with a four hitter. Just for the heck of it. Not going to kill him, but it came very close, and I still banked full points. Did they just, they just banked full points. They used all their points and did nothing. So, this is bad, maybe. I'm going to go ahead and go like this. Oh, it did nothing. Okay, they didn't bank full points. Now they're at six, though. And they still got all of their dinosaurs. What did we do wrong this round? Man, that's bad. Let's go like this. Get rid of them. Next up. If he hits me with anything, yeah, he's maybe going to kill me here. Oh, it came close. It really came close. That's more than I really wanted to, actually. I, I would prefer to put two on there. I didn't by accident. And now if this Stegosaur comes in, he's going to take me down with a simple shot. Man, this stinks. No! It was blocked! It was blocked. Here we go. The big hitter. Can't block this one. Goodbye. Elangosaurus. One hit kill. Yes! The hybrid! The hybrid was the difference maker. Somehow. Giganotosaur versus the hybrid. The hybrid was the difference maker. And we won battle stage 14. Still made a few mistakes there, but you know what? We still, at the end of the day, didn't do too bad. We're starting to hatch another Gowan Long. And with that, I think we're going to end the episode there. Thanks for watching. Like this video. Comment below. All those other awesome things people do. And we'll see ya on Jurassic World. Bye-bye.